welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and today I'm going to show you a tour of my stairway pantry. Now I've been making YouTube videos for a while and I have videos on all of my previous pantries and this one is the most uh, unusual and unique of all of them. This pantry was actually designed by one of my colleagues and we moved into this house a few years after she had come and uh, worked for the previous owners of the house and I actually love what she did. I added like a couple of my own things but I'll show you our organized stair pantry and give you a tour of everything inside. So let's go. I think you're gonna like it. So the first order of business we have a Clover James in the stair pantry just hanging out but here is basically what it's like so this is the stairway to go downstairs i'll turn on the light so you guys can see and there's shelving beside the stairs now i know the last time i showed this there was some concern about hitting things as you go down the stairs that's not really the case i'm going to get to a point here where you can see how narrow the shelving is the shell the shelving is four inches deep so this only comes out five inches because this is actually one inch this bracket here so the stairs shelving does not obstruct with walking down the stairs at all you have you know a good amount of space here and i've never hit anything or knocked anything coming down the stairs and i love this space i can have as many cans as i want i'll show you that in a minute but beside the stairs is this cool little shelving that was added as well when i first moved into this space it just had the first two drawers and i added two larger ones on the bottom to hold extra things so i'll show you what it looks like over did you want to give the tour as well so to the left here i have my aprons my husband has his, a grilling apron there too so whenever i need aprons i grab for that and here are my cookbooks i have a just a small collection of cookbooks i think a couple of you mentioned that you'd like to know which cookbooks i have so we have the a home chef recipe cookbook i've got martha stewart this is a super old comfort food book, but it has really great recipes in it. This, I think this is an edition of uh, Cook's Illustrated. Yeah, I have one, one issue of Cook's Illustrated. If you've never read, read Cook's Illustrated before, you should. It's very helpful. Actually, I'm gonna take this out. Ooh, gonna read that this afternoon, but I've also got Date Night In. That's fun, Essentials of Cooking. This is a very good book if you're looking for basics. And I've got Eat Well, Eat Happy. This was given to us as a wedding gift, actually. I've got the Honeysuckle Cookbook. I love, I love, love song lewis i love her uh she has a youtube channel here on youtube called honeysuckle and it's great check it out heart of the artichoke this is a good book uh the japanese kitchen very good part-time vegetarian and the cook's essential kitchen dictionary and then jam it pickle it cure it um this is a very good book as well if you're looking to do things uh from scratch and this is my husband's cookbook i don't know what's in it but <laughs> it's there we basically have alpha shelving that goes from the floor all the way up to the ceiling for extra storage space. So at the top here, we just have a couple of paper towel rolls and some dry goods I use less frequently, as you can see. I am a nerd and I use uh, chemical formulas for some of the items that have chemical formulas. So we've got salt and baking soda up there. And then down here, we've got flour and the sugars. We have two different kinds of flour. This is regular flour, like uh, all-purpose flour, and then this is bread flour. So I haven't labeled this yet because I just don't want to be committed to bread flour forever. So um, I'm just going to remember that it's bread flour. But we have brown sugar here and we have regular uh, unbleached sugar here. And these are pop canisters from OXO. These are really cool because they have scoops inside. Isn't that cool? Those are fun. Down below that here, we've got more dry goods, but these are like rice and grains, um, like whole grains. Like I've got farro here. We've got like this some, some kind of wild rice pilaf. We have uh, arborio rice, wild rice, jasmine rice, panko. Uh, those are breadcrumbs. Jasmine rice, brown rice, bulgur, and lentils. And these containers came from the container store. I don't think they sell them anymore, but they are from a company called. They're from a brand called Mapel Rosti. I think they do still make products, but I don't think they make these particular containers. But they've been good to us for years and years, and I've just had no reason to replace them, so I still have them. Down here, we have Clover's area. 
Clover, this is your food area. Are you excited? So we've got his kibble and I put his kibble scoops on this hook. You can buy these hooks for utility boards. I'll actually show a little shot of what a utility board looks like, but they this they have the same holes in the hanging standards here. So I just added a hook so I could put his little kibble scoops in there and I've got a little container for his kibble. We've got one for treats. He's got some bully sticks in here along with the bully stick holder and some pumpkin in case he gets a bad belly and he's got some other little treats in here as well as his snood. Do you want to wear the snood right now? Do you want to put on the snood? He's like, no mom, that's embarrassing. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want to wear it for the people? So in case you're wondering, <laughs> this is the snood. If he's ever eating anything that is messy or kind of wet, you know, like uh, wet food or just anything that's really gross that he gets his ears in, he wears the snoot and eats it with a snoot, <laughs> with a snoot on. <laughs> Does he look ridiculous or cute? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> look at his tail going. <laughs> Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat for wearing the snoot? Why? <laughs> your tail wagon like that okay I'll give you a treat because you have your snoot on you can have a wonder nugget can you sit yes there you go good job mmm that was yummy huh good job you want more I'll give you more in a minute okay anyway that's what this is so he's got his little food area and then underneath here we have some drawers now the first drawer is just for paper goods and foil and stuff like that and we've got this for this is for the compost bin the compost bin is hanging up here and we have a you know larger compost bin outside which we empty that one into but it just is for like food scraps and you know paper towels and stuff it gets composted but these are the extra compost bags and these are we've got food storage labels as well this second drawer is for like onions and garlic <laughs> and condiments uh, we have collected a fair amount of com condiments during the uh, 2020 stay indoors, don't go to restaurants kind of dealio. So um, that's where they live and they get used there. And then this little drawer here is for snacks. We've got nuts on one side. We've got like, these are stuff to go on tops of salads. And then we've got just like bags of snacks like chips and stuff on that side. And then down here we have towels we have microfiber cleaning towels we've got dish drying racks we've got stuff for the mop the mop is actually hanging on the side here this is the makers clean mop and it hangs on the side there on a command hook that was actually already there when we moved in so i was like well i'll just use that and next to it actually is the step ladder that's next to it as well but we've got the the microfiber cloths for the mop there and also the tea towels so when we're out of tea towels or when we need to replace the towel we have a place to grab can i can i help you do you want another treat this one has a big cranberry in it look at that oh yum wait you gotta do tricks for treats okay can you speak <laughs> Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now let's move over to the side. This is not as organized, but it's sort of organized. We've got pasta on this top shelf here. We've got some wheat pasta and some chickpea pasta. We don't eat pasta that much, actually. <laughs> and we've got some pre-cooked quinoa. I'm not really sure. I think we bought that when we were, we could only get pre-cooked quinoa, so it's there. Anyway, we've also got some oatmeal and cider. That This is kind of a random shelf. We've got honey. My husband eats honey a lot with his yogurt, so that's where that is. We've got dried beans over here. We've got garbanzo, kidney beans, all kinds of interesting. These are like soldier beans, soldier beans. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I think I can make a really interesting soup with them. And on this side, we've got just the baking things. We've got baking cups and lavender and vanilla and all the baking stuff. Oh, and also some artichoke hearts, random, I know. And basically this is where I've got all of my canned goods. We've got like tomato sauce and tomato paste and the canned fishes, the tuna and the salmon, and I think sardines as well. On this row, we've got olive oil and almond milk and also more beans, lots of beans, more beans than you ever thought that you needed in your life, but we eat a lot of beans. On this side, we've got coconut milk and sliced beets and also some uh, hot oil 
like sauces. This is really good lot sauce. We love that on like everything. <laughs> We've got a couple of marinating sauces here and also some marinara sauce. Excuse me? And we've got some balsamic vinegar, gochujang, uh, enchilada sauce, and better than bouillon, and like fish sauce. <laughs> fish sauce. We've got all kinds of sauces. We love a good sauce. By the way, we we, we only have two balsamic vinegars because my husband and I uh, did not talk one time and we both bought balsamic vinegar one week. So uh, we've got enough balsamic vinegar for a while. And down here we don't have very much. We just have some potatoes, uh, some extra pickles. My husband is a pickle fanatic, so he went and bought a big thing of pickles and then some vinegar and uh, chicken stock on the stairs, just hanging out. So we do have a little corner over here where we store some produce. Got a you know bowl full of tomatoes here, some grape tomatoes and lemons and limes and stuff like that in there and on avocado. Those just hang out there. That is, uh, I guess, an extension of our pantry, so that's part of the tour. So that's the video. Let me know if there's anywhere in your house that's a pantry that is not a like traditional pantry. Where is your most unusual pantry. Let me know down in the comment below. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you like organizing and home content, subscribe. We're here. We're having fun. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.